Get up, move ahead. Unexpected sound. What's the most unexpected sound? Um, well, I mean, of course, you expect to hear guitar and you expect to hear vocals and you expect to hear rhythms and all that. Um, so that's that's all there. So you won't be disappointed if that's what you're looking for. Um, as far as the most unexpected sound, I think even even though it doesn't sound out of the ordinary when you're listening to, to the, the record itself, uh, I think the kick drum sound on the final track on the CD, which is which is Lighthouse, I think that was probably the most unexpected discovery in the studio. Because one of the one of the things with this record, since since I don't play with you know with a drummer live, I don't have a drummer backing me up the whole time. Uh, for for my drum beats, I beat on my guitar and I loop those. Um, since I did not have that, I as much as possible, I did not want traditional drum kit sounds. Um, which isn't to say that I never used a kick drum, or I never used a snare drum, or I never used a tom, because I used all of those things. Um, but not in your standard, like, kick hi-hat, snare, toms, ride setup. Um, and so, as much as possible when it came to, to finding the right sound for a song, I went to traditional drums last like that was that was the last choice if I couldn't find something else that I really liked so for um, for the the kick drum sound that comes in uh, about two-thirds of the way through lighthouse I wanted a really big deep round full kick sound and I was looking around there and like okay what can I what can I use to get this and it's like hey Jason Jason Rubel who is the producer um, let's see let's see if this drum throne works it was just a DW drum throne, you know, what a drummer sits on when playing a traditional drum set. And he put a microphone on it, and just with with the you know with my fist, I just hit it, and it created this perfect, like, big, booming, deep, round tone, which is exactly what we were looking for. And you know, didn't require any adjustments. You didn't even have to move the microphone to get the the sweet spot. It was perfect. Um, so I think that was the the most unexpected studio surprise as far as getting the the sounds on the record.